communication really is the, the essence of life. Really, when you look at technology that can change people's lives, being able to communicate when you otherwise couldn't is probably the most significant difference you can make for someone with a technology. People need good language to be able to communicate. We shouldn't settle for people just having a few words, a few phrases. We want people to be able to be independent communicators to their full ability. It's going beyond demonstrating knowledge and showing that you have the language ability to really communicate what you want to say. It's helping people reach their potential. Simply it would be impossible for me to do even a test of what I do if I did not have a communication device. Ed Prentke was an employee at a hospital when I first met him, and I was a student at Case. What they had, I think, was a mutual interest in working with people with disabilities. Ed and I started to build some equipment on the side, uh, evenings and weekends, and one thing led to another, and the company became a formal entity. People who use AAC really value speed. So one of the blessings in the history of PRC was connecting with Bruce Baker and his ideas on semantic compaction. What I found in assistive technology and in augmentative communication devices is many devices have words. The PRC devices have language. You know, the thing that's different with, with Pranky Romic and Unity Language is we're not just looking at communication, we're looking at language development for life. People who use our devices tend to be very articulate about what they say. This field started really with folks who had severe physical impairments. Today, this market is much broader. The number of kids with autism is growing and growing, and a significant number of those children are nonverbal. Using augmentative communication, we're able to help kids grow language so they don't have to revert to behavior. We've reached a lot more people in the last decade than we did uh, 10 years ago. We've uh, improved our products, we've improved our vocabulary systems, we've improved all of the support services that are essential to people actually getting and benefiting from our products. The success of our users is really what drives this company. That's what we were about 45 years ago when Ed and Barry were tinkering in a garage somewhere in Cleveland, and it's what we're still about today. The very best thing for us is seeing people using our products and seeing them be successful and understanding that they are having the best lives possible because of what we do. We have a very strong clinical focus, both in the field and as a company. That relationship that we have with the clients and with the entire clinical support network and family support network gives us a perspective for how the technology works in their daily lives. The hardware and the look and design, that's always going to change. The thing that doesn't change is the need for good language and core vocabulary words. And that is something that, that PRC is not going to compromise. We want to enable the end user to be the best they can be and to express themselves the best they can. And you can't do that unless you have a robust language system that allows the individual to be creative. The Unity language is something that's been refined over decades through research and, more specifically, through observations in the field. The training sessions are amazing because you go in and you learn about the device characteristics and how you can use the devices. But then the trainers help you to learn how you can implement those ideas in the classroom, in your therapy setting. PRC has put together a website called the AAC Language Lab. We've pulled our background knowledge and put it together to say, here are strategies and ideas that you can use. As we transition in the future, 
We have cloud technology. We have a lot of different ways to provide functionality. Software development is going to drive the future. At the end of the day, if you can go home understanding that when it works, your solutions change lives, and ours do change lives, that's an exciting part of the work. With the children that I work with, we need to start at the beginning and go through early childhood language skills and develop that into adult language. The PRC devices allow us to do that. As a teacher, I had everything in my classroom. Low-tech boards, mid-tech devices, and high-tech devices from a variety of companies. I think PRC has the language strategies inside to allow someone to grow. When I first met Brianna, I hadn't worked with a student with as many physical issues as Brianna has. The first thing we needed to do was see, can her eyes access the device? And they did. And so we started looking at how we can make the button smaller and really start giving her a language system. The eye gaze portion on her device has opened up a whole new world. Brianna's grandparents have seen such a change, and I think just in her demeanor, um, how she feels about herself, uh, she has gained much more confidence. She can really have a conversation with them now, and, and her personality is able to come out so much more with the use of her device. How do you feel, Brianna? Happy. <laughs> People talk about this as a field, they talk about people with disabilities. But the best work that happens in this field is when people focus on people's abilities. The thing that strikes me about Brad is he does not compromise his message. And I think it commands respect. When he was five, he received his first communication device. And through the years, he's become more and more skilled. He can say exactly what he wants to say because all that language is in his device. Brad is an example of someone who can spell and he is literate, but he chooses to use Unity with the picture symbols because he is so much faster. In the same way that we do use a QWERTY keyboard, we know where the letters are by keeping that motor pattern, by keeping the language in exactly the same place. They can learn where language is. If I'm trying to encourage a team with maybe a young child and they need a vision of what success looks like, I bring Brad. He is independently living with very little assistance and has his own company now. I do just about anything with computers. I do anything from write programs to fixing them. It's his voice, his communication device, that gives him the power to be successful with everything else. I believe Brianna's device is a good fit for her because it allows her to access the communication that is inside of her. In the end, you have a child that can really say what they want to say, not what someone else has programmed for them to say. We're trying to optimize the life experience of the people who use our products. 